Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on. Praise the Lord. This is Psalm for the Day, coming to you from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Central Parish. Our Psalm for the Day is Psalm 30, verse 1 to 12. Psalm 30, verse 1 to 12. This is season 2 of this program. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. O Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried to, the, to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my morning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and guarded me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Thou, I will give thanks unto thee forever. And that will be my testimony from now on. And that will be your testimony also in the name of the Lord Jesus. I have a good news for you. For someone who is mourning now, God said, I should tell you, thou hast turned from me my money into dancing. The Lord will turn your money into dancing. The Lord will take away sackcloth from your life. The Lord will guard you with gladness. Your glory will sing praise to the living God. Your life will be a mighty testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus. At a time like this that we live, in time of all kinds of trouble and destruction all around us, at a time when we live in despair and we live in depression, several people are committing suicide because they don't know exactly what their tomorrow looks like. But for those of us who are believers, we know without any doubt that each time we return to the Bible, we receive encouragement and we receive that ability to take the next step again. The fact that some people like us are still alive up to now is because of the examples that we have seen in the word of God. The psalmist was able to say, Oh Lord my God, I cried unto thee and thou hast healed me. In other words, he was sick. If you are sick today, I have a good news for you. Someone was sick in the Bible. God healed him because he cried unto the Lord. If you cry unto the Lord today also, and if we join our voices with your own, as you cry to the Lord, I can assure you, you also, you will be healed. You will be healed and you will be brought up again. The Almighty God will bring up your soul from the grave. It doesn't matter how grave or how terrible your situation may be. I have seen people that doctors have already told that they should go home. 
their families should take them home because their situation is very bad. And there is no way they will be able to make it. And God, in his infinite mercy, had healed them. You know the story that our Father and the Lord used to tell us from time to time of a man or a woman who had already been uh, declared almost dead. The husband left her in the hospital. The husband went home and sent for the girlfriend that uh, the girlfriend can come to the house now because that useless woman, uh, she will be dead anytime from now. But the moment the husband left her and the doctors and the nurses left her, Somebody walked into our room, and that somebody was Jesus, and touched the woman, and the woman jumped up, and she was healed, just like that. And this woman dressed up and went back home and met the husband and the girlfriend in bed. They thought she was a ghost, but she wasn't a ghost. The Lord had healed her. I have a goodness for you. It doesn't matter what your situation looks like. It doesn't matter how, your, how bad your sickness is. That man of Calvary, the one who still goes around doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil, he will come into your situation right now and he will heal you. Oh Lord my God, I cried unto thee and thou hast healed me. Oh Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. That was the testimony of these psalmists. That will be your testimony also. We, f we find the example of a man in the Bible called Ezekiah, a king, a righteous king, who loved God so much, who was sick unto death. You will find that story in Isaiah chapter 38 from verse 1. Isaiah 38 from verse 1. Ezekiah was sick unto death, and God sent Isaiah to him. The prophet who was the son of Amos, he came unto him and he said, Thus says the Lord, set thy house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. You must know without any doubt that Isaiah was a great prophet. In fact, uh, Bible scholars will refer to him as a major prophet. He wasn't just an ordinary prophet. In Israel, when they say that somebody is a prophet, it means when he prophesies, his word will come to pass. So there, there was no doubt about it, that what Isaiah had prophesied will come to pass. Ezekiah knew that. But Ezekiah also knew how to pray. Remember what the psalmist said in that place. I cried unto thee. If you can cry to the Lord today concerning your situation, he will heal you. I've been in the situation when I was very sick unto death. But I kept crying unto the Lord until he healed me. If I'm alive today and I can minister to you, I can, you can be sure that you also, you'll be standing like this someday, giving testimony about what the Lord had done in your life. Ezekiah had that particular word that was sent to him. Set your house in order. Prepare to die because you will not live. But the Bible tells us that he turned his face towards the wall. He cried unto the Lord. He prayed. He said, remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, I have walked before thee in truth and with the perfect heart, and I've done that which is good in your sight. He wept before the Lord. Then, the word of the Lord came to Isaiah again. The same Isaiah who came to prophesy to him of his death was asked to return and tell him that he will not die anymore. Somebody who is on his deathbed now, God has sent me to tell you, it is not yet your time. You shall not die. This sickness will not see your end in the name of the Lord Jesus. And the prophet told Ezekiah that 15 years have been added to his year. To someone who is sick today, we have a good news for you. You will not die. You will worship the Lord again with your life. God needs your strength, He needs your energy. And if sickness is, is, is affecting your health, is, is breaking down your health, breaking down your body system, you will not be able to accomplish that purpose. And that's the reason why you need sound health to be able to witness to the healing power of the Almighty God. Remember, when he was here on earth, Jesus healed Batmius, the blind man. 
Jesus healed the paralytic who had been in the same situation for 38 years. It is not the number of years that matters to Jesus. When Jesus steps into a situation, he heals every situation. A man in John chapter 9 who had no eyes from the day he was born, Jesus created two new, two brand new eyes for him. He is a healer, he is a deliverer, he is a restorer of hope. If he has done that for others, he will do the same for you. All you need to do is to cry out to him today and he will heal you. My father, my God, I join my voice to those of your children who are crying out unto you at this time because of the sickness, because of their oppression. My father, I ask today, you will heal them, you will deliver them from their oppression. Every miracle of restoration that they need in their life, Father, I pray you will accomplish it for them at this time so that they can serve you with renewed strength. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.